Ma'am, beneath the ground. Okay. Ma'am, under the ground. Inside the soil, you can find. Actually, root is the one which support the entire plant, right? Yes, ma'am. So, can we tell uh, root which anchor the plant in the soil? Yes. So, what is the main function of root? Root holds. And root supplies water to the plant. Yeah. First thing, root holds plant firmly in soil and helps in transport of water. Ma'am, and root absorbs water and minerals. Yeah, that's what. It helps in transportation process. Okay. So now roots are of how many kinds? So root includes two kinds. First one is taproot and fibrous root. So those are the two types. Tap root, where tap root is present. Okay. So mostly tap root you can find in case of dicot plant. So dicot plants means do you have idea of dicot plants? So, you know seeds? Yes, ma'am. I don't know dicot plants, but I know dicot seeds. Okay. Seeds. Suppose take any seed. If I'm considering a peanut. Okay. If I'm considering a peanut. So, how many halves you can see in peanut? You can find the two halves. Right? Yes, ma'am. So, if any seed is having two halves, it is called dicot seed. Di means two. Di is two. Cot means like two cotyledons, which is each one is a cotyledon. No need of learning that. So remember that which you can make two halves. Okay. Uh, each half is generally called as a seed leaf. So you can also tell the seed with two seed leaves. Okay. It is called dicot seed. So whichever plant it is having dicot seed in their fruit, it shows which system tap root system which system students tap root system so what tap root system. dicot seed dicot seed means seeds with two seed halves we can say two seed leaves yeah you can say two seed leaves okay If you see the structure of tap root system, I'll show you. It will be easy to you to learn. Can you see here? How it is, students? How it is? It is like a long one. You can see it is very long, bearing. Cycle, which is starting like which is the initial one it is called primary tap root and the branch from this primary ta tap root is secondary tap root and further branch is tertiary tap root okay if you take this tip of root if if i cut this and if i check this tip of root okay so that is called root tip actually the one which is the end part, it is called root tip. Okay. On this, you can also find a small hair like structures which are called root hairs. So, do you understand how the root is? So, from one root, another root is coming. Okay. So, it is growing too long inside. Okay. Yes. So tap root which have main root and which further gives out its branches is called primary root. Okay. okay. So what can you find in this students? You can find a primary root. Is longer and grows vertically into the soil right how it is growing deep into the soil vertically into the soil which is further divided into how it is divided further into how students 
ma'am. How primary root is further ma divided into secondary and then into tertiary. Tertiary into secondary and tertiary tertiary roots. Okay, clear with tap root. Yes, ma'am. So in tap root, you can see main branch going deep into the soil, which is called primary root. And this primary root it is giving out its branches, further branches, secondary root. If secondary root is giving further branches, it is called tertiary root. Okay. Where you can find these kind of roots in case of plants which are having seeds, which seeds, dicot seeds. That is the seed with two seed leaves. Okay, so example where you can see students in pea, in mango, ma'am in mango, ma'am in beans, etc. In all whichever seed you consider, if you can make into two halves, it is called dicot seed. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Clear with the tap root. So yes, whenever uh, tap root comes in your mind, remember that it is found in dicot plants. That is the ma plant which is having dicot seeds. Okay. Ma'am, one second. I'm writing. Yeah, yeah. Write down. Yes, ma'am. Let me know once you complete it. Now I'm done. Okay. Yeah, you can make the seed into how many halves you check it. So in case of apple, you can make the seed into two halves. So it also example for dicot. Clear? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next comes here is Next type of root, which is fibrous root. Fibrous root. So this fibrous root, where it is found, students? Ma'am, like monocotyledons, monocotyledons. Mm -hmm. Yes, in monocotyledons, you can find. Next. And these uh, roots... Ma'am, they do not fiber. have any type of structure, ma'am. They do not have any main root. They spread away. Yeah. yeah. They will spread, spread everywhere. They don't have any structure. Okay. So, I'll show you the picture of fibrous root. Can you see here how it is? How they spread even... Like, they spread everywhere in the soil. Right? So, yes, in case of yes, tap yes. root, if you see, you can find this primary root. Okay. Where it is giving. See, you can find a main root, which is primary root in case of tap root. But is there any primary root in fibrous root? No, ma'am. It just spreads everywhere. Yeah. It is spreading everywhere. So, that comes under, you can tell the root, whatever it is there, it is short-leaved. Okay, so uh, it will be replaced every time. So it will die after some time, then again new root will come. Okay. No primary root. If primary root is also there, that is short leaf. Okay. Primary root is short leaf. Then in place of that, a cluster of, you can see, thin fiber-like structures are coming. And is replaced by, by a cluster of thin fiber-like roots called as fibrous roots. Okay, so the primary root it is replacing like it will die after some time because it is a short leaf plant and in place of that you can find a cluster of thin fiber like roots. Okay. And 
these are found in monocot plants monocot plants means the the plants which is having monocot seed so you cannot break that seed into two halves okay understood mono means single single cotyledon yeah single ma'am that means uh, ma'am that means rice plant also has fibrous roots only right, ma'am yeah you can tell wheat uh, maize uh, barley i'll show you how they are okay if you remove the maize barley anything the wheat from even the grass is there you ever put picked the grass from the soil have you seen the roots of soil it will be yes, small roots i think i think my little bit of thing it just spreads everywhere yeah so there won't be any primary root secondary root in it ma'am it is easy to pull ma'am it's easy to pull okay, then yeah. the uh, plants with tap root so right? from a common point this spread so these spreads from a common point Ma'am, they can also be pulled up easily, ma'am. Yes, yes. Okay, examples you can write for this is wheat, barley, next uh, grasses, etc. And one thing, students, did you remember parallel venation and reticulate venation? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So yes. what is parallel venation? फॉर्म Yeah. Now my question is, you find that two kinds of seeds like monocot plant, dicot plant. Monocot means the plants in which there is a single seed cotyledon. What well, plants? What well, plants which have fibrous roots? Uh, their leaves have uh, reticulate okay. venation. Now question is, which if uh, which kind of venation is present in monocot leaf, and which kind of leaf present? So if you see in monocot, I mean writing that one. Ah, one minute. I'll show you. Monocot plant. It means single seed leaf, right? Isn't it? Single seed leaf is called monocot plant. And in monocot plant, what root you can find, students? Ma'am, pa parallel, ma'am, parallel. Fibrous root you can find. Fibrous root. root i am asking you can find fibrous root system okay and mam parallel parallel venation parallel venation so see here how the root and leaf are arranged in case of dicot plant dicot means two seed leaves right yes ma'am so you can write two seed leaves then which root will be there in dicot tap root tap root tap root tap root tap root will be there and reticulate venation reticulate venation in leaf okay very very important students this is most important one you learn this well okay so write down now can you see the difference between tap root and fibrous root how they are yes sir okay so in case of carrot this is the primary root which you are eating and you can find the secondary and tertiary roots later okay in case of grass in case of corn paddy wheat and everything see how the roots are spread here yes Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then clear. Shall I move on to the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So next kind of roots yes, are supporting roots. So I think everybody have idea of this. So this is one special category, uh, which what's the use of this means? 
Have you ever seen the banyan tree? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We so have idea of banyan tree. In the banyan tree, you can see the roots which are hanging. Can you see here? But they are known as prop roots, ma'am. Prop roots. Yeah. Can you see the roots? How they are coming from the stem? And this root in the soil, it goes and they again come up. I'm okay. like they will fully go down and they will make a new plant. Yeah, and you can grow. use it, right? You can use that. Uh, uh, actually, it is used for making what people will do with these roots in villages. How they use this? The children will play with this, right? They make a yes, string. Then they are like that. Yeah. Then, yeah. then, yeah. then coming okay, to the sugar also. cane, see the sugar cane, how it is having roots. Have you ever ate sugar cane? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Drink drink you can find the roots, right? Do you find yes, roots yes, in yeah. the total sugar cane? Yes. So those are the still roots. So these are some of the supporting roots. Okay, so what the use of this supporting root means? They grows towards the soil and they act as a pillar to that to support the plant. So they act as what students? They act as pillar to support the plant. Okay, like you can see the prop. Uh, in case of this is banyan tree. Next, this is sugar cane. clear okay so next functions of root with this the root ends here so what are the functions of root students you know tell me few functions of root a root hold the uh, plant or the tree firmly okay. root supplies good. water to that yes next so first thing we can write fixation, right? It fixes the plant in the soil. Yes, yes it hold, uh, it holds the three or plant firmly. Plant firmly in the soil. Okay, next function, what can be read? It helps in absorption process. Isn't it? So, in the first picture, I showed you the hairs on the root, right? There are hairs on the root. Yes, ma'am. So these root hairs generally it helps in absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil. Root hair absorbs water and mineral salts from the Soil. Okay. Next one is prevention of soil erosion. So, what is soil erosion, students? Do you have idea of soil erosion? Yes, ma'am. A removal of a top soil is known as soil erosion. Suppose if I am taking a soil, so this is the soil. So, on this, whatever the topmost layer is there, which is full of the nutrients and everything. So due to certain conditions like uh, due to floods, okay, due to rainfall, due to heavy floods, it goes away with water. Okay, so this process, you can call it as soil erosion. If roots are there, then it helps in fixing the soil, right? So due to which it uh, like you can find that no soil is removing from the soil. So root... Ma'am, by chemical soil erosion will create. You know soil erosion, Nagavine? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Even, Even I know. Very good. Root binds the soil finely. Um, and oh, yeah, soil erosion and soil conversion also. Yeah, okay. Prevent soil erosion. So, uh, uh, like it... Uh, by losing the outermost layer from the soil, it helps. Okay, without losing it. Next, it helps in storage. Can you give an example of storage? Do you know? Roots help in storage process, students? 
Yes, ma'am, and uh, carrot. Yes. So carrots, beetroot, sweet potato, radish, radish, radish. Kaki, all these are the roots. These are nothing but roots which grow in soil. And what these roots are doing, they are storing food inside it, which we are consuming. Okay. So in plants like carrot, turnip, radish, sweet potato, etc. Roots are modified for storage. Okay, that's it. This is about root. Write down.